Hi guys. Sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late. We got into a very intense, delicious conversation over at Lady Love Strider. And now I'm gonna burn my sage. And since I just came from over there, you know I am already in high vibration. If you have a question, go ahead and put it in um, the PM because when this thing starts going, I don't keep up with the questions. It's sad that a lot of people don't like the smell of burning sage. I don't know, I guess because I just got used to Chinese medicine, so everything that normally smells stinky to other people is just healing to me. I just think of it as healing. Like getting a shot. It's just healing. May as well enjoy it. I know we had some fun over there, huh, Melanated? That's good. I like that. I like that. It gives, you know, it's so freeing to, um, it's so freeing to be able to share stuff like that with others. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for it. Hi, Lisa. Okay, but so what's my real question, though? Okay. Oh, okay, thanks. That's my question. Got it. Hang on. May the light of God protect me, the love of God surround me, the power of God protect me. The love of God is holy, me, the power of God protect me, the presence of God watch over me wherever I am. God is, is and all is well. Wow, who's that? You have a grandmother in spirit? Um, Janice? Hi, Anderson. Hi, Pamela. Okay, um, Janice, you type over, yeah, you type over there. I'm over there, not over here, because it takes too long to go through in, um, this thing. <clears throat> Okay, I'm I'm move. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, you guys, when you put your question over there, reply over there only because it goes faster. So, okay, this lady, she she, the cabbage people. Who are the cabbage people? Irish people? Scottish people? Irish people. She feels Irish. I'm seeing um, the clover things, 
and um, the 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 um, she's talking too fast. And what are you doing up over there anyway? You're supposed to be over there. Fine, go ahead. Green and white, checkered something. Okay. She's so funny. <laughs> you know, I got that thick accent going on. She's so You are cute. You're very cute. She's so cute with her little pale self. She said yes. But it's up to you. <laughs> so, Cause you know I can't do her accent. She's like, she's, but it's up to you, me darling. And, and um, no, Pam, this the uh, somebody asked a question in a personal message because that's how I take the questions. And you have to PM me on Facebook because you see the messages going. You see how the messages are going so fast. I can't read that and remember who wrote something five minutes ago. So I asked people to leave a a PM, and right now I'm answering Janice. So she, her accent is just so cute, you know, and she's talking so fast. And she says, yes, but you just, you, I told her, you better slow down and get an interpreter or something. <laughs> you, you just get on them, basically is what she's saying in English, okay? You just get on them and you tell them you will not stand for that. You will not be treated like a third class citizen. You, who do they think they are? <laughs> she's just she's just she's just going on and on and on and on and on. You just stand your ground. Don't you be letting them treat you like Blarney. <laughs> she is just the cutest little thing. <clears throat> now in my third eye she looks to be about six foot seven. But standing next to me now she only feels like she's about four foot ten. She is just the most precious little thing. I tell you two. Yes, you are. Don't be talking back to me. I'm the telephone here, not you. She can't hear you. <laughs> well, stop. <laughs> stop. I can. I can hear you. You don't. You don't need to be all up in my ear, like all the way through to my brains. <laughs> okay, Granny, you better sit your cute little butt down. You are just too funny. Oh my God. No, the dog cannot be getting on the bed. What's up with the dog? Is that one of them keg wearing dogs? No. It's a something, um, what is that? A something shepherd. I don't know. She said it would, it's got long hair. It's one of them dogs that look like a mop. And it stands about four and a half feet tall. How funny. She is, she is just a hoot. What is that you got in there? Do you have anything recognizable in there? It looks like she cooked him with a cauldron over the, spit thing you know you have some lamb what lamb intestines oh granny I'm good I'm good you can have that all to yourself I don't mind at all mm-hmm okay well you you gotta calm down you are just too funny for words grandma Yes, you are. She's got her cute little bobby socks on, it looks like. Oh, that's her skirt. So she has an all-white top. She said you have this picture. Or, right? <laughs> she said you had a picture a long time ago. It's so funny hearing that. I mean, it's a deep accent, not even like on TV. <clears throat> so, so, what? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's just a precious little thing, I tell you. Um, so she's got, on, of course, her, her little white sweater, though she says sometimes she wears a lime green. And, uh, you know, her white blouse with, and it's just her skirt that's like a Kelly green and white plaid. Okay, who is, what? You cannot be asking all them questions. Uh, uh, everybody, one question, one specific question. She's Janice. She's just so cute. I just, I just want to kiss you for her. She all up in my ear, girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't make me treat you like Mr. Worm. Okay, no, sit back up. 
Don't be tickling me, Granny. That is not funny. I start kicking when I get tickled. Cut it out. You you better sit down. I'm gonna make you go away. <laughs> yes, I can. I have that power. She's so funny. Okay, what was my question? I'm sorry. <laughs> She's just so fucking funny. <laughs> You're gonna have me crying in a minute. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thanks, thanks, Granny. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Get that dog off my bed. You know, no. No. I ain't even had a man on my bed. How are you gonna have a dog on the bed? No. Get that damn nasty dog off my bed. If you put your foot down and you check everything, I know it's a lot of document, paper, stuff. You you just and I you, and everything yeah that other turmoil stuff that we were talking about earlier is gonna go away because you have to think about this first and foremost okay uh, she wants you to really 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 read the contract over she said now I don't know it's been a long time since I have been in the real estate game with my mother so I'm gonna tell you how she sees things in the old days you had the long you know 15 inch contract papers right Janice and you had the paper and you had a carbon you had the paper you had the carbon and carbon and carbon and carbon and carbon and carbon, and carbon. so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go okay she said bye we're going to go to the fifth page of whatever the thickest paperwork bundle, whatever that is, pick up that one. We're going to go to the fifth page. We are going to go to the seventh paragraph. It looks like it's the smallest paragraph on the whole page. She wants you to read that three line paragraph backwards. Make sure every I is dotted and every T is crossed. If you don't understand something, you are to cross it out, make your notes, initial date stamp. Because they're going through a whole bunch of shit, they're just choosing to spread it with everybody else like peanut butter. Sorry. She says she has a brother in spirit. She's going to go get him to beat them up. Well, I don't know what word she says because she's saying it in Gaelic. I mean, you know, so I'm like, interpreter. She's so funny. She's going to have, she's going to have her big brother kick their ass. <laughs> Um, and then after you have that, I don't know what she's calling it, face off, face off, like the boxers do before they match, they get, they put their faces together. After you have the, that face off, then everything is going to be fine. So just stand your ground is what she's basically saying. Okay. Okay. Cold beans, honey. I love you. Andrew, where's Andrew? Andrew? Are you there? I know you're there. You're always there. Um, okay, now that you're all piling up, let me reiterate this. If you do not leave me the question in a PM, I'm not scrolling up to read your question. It doesn't work like that. Okay? And you're only to leave one question one specific question. I don't need a name, birth date, date, place, time, blood type. I don't need any of that. I don't, I don't read like that. One specific question. A specific question is not, how should you get anything for me? No. Anderson? 
You always ask some really good ass questions. I got to tell you. So, and we've talked, we've talked on this before. The beginning to anything is being still. When you are able to be still, you can hear clearer. You can see, feel, taste, touch, smell clearer. You won't even have to ask the question. The spirits will give you the answer even before you ask the question. Okay, honey? You knew this. Come on now. And I'm not beating you up. So... Let's, let's, we'll make it a little bit different right now. Okay, so you already have your homework of being still. I'm, I want updates on that, by the way. And all of y'all that got homework have, you need to be updating. Okay? Because if you don't make yourself accountable, don't come back to me saying, okay, what do I do next? You didn't do the first thing I t the Spirit told me to tell you to do. You don't get no more homework. You do the first thing that I told you to do and you, you got to report back, just like school. This is just school. Well, you know when you go to sleep, you are astral traveling. So when you keep, when you continue to practice your two minutes, that is going to help you get to the stage of even being uh, lucid, okay? So, before you go to bed every night, this is your new additional homework. I want to hear back from you in two days. We're going to have our sip of warm water, room temperature water. You're going to read something inspirational. And you will ask one specific question. Now, the thing about that is when you go to sleep, you have to train yourself to talk to yourself in your sleep, lucid dreaming. Until you get to the point of being able to meditate <clears throat> and see and hear, either, either one of the two, and one is no less challenging than the other, okay? You have to learn how to be still so you can push all that shit out of your head so you can focus because every dream means something I don't care what anybody says it's scientifically proven each and every one of us human beings dream just because you don't remember it don't make it not so okay so you're gonna ask your very specific question until you get a specific answer I want to know what that question is and I want to know when you get the answer okay so starting um it's already tomorrow your time i think so you're going to do your two minutes twice a day i if you don't don't make me come there i will visit you in your dream i'll be the large hippopotamus woman <laughs> ballet <laughs> dancing towards you ah <sighs> Okay, so think of it like this. Okay, so you're going to go to bed. You're going to ask your question. You're going to drink your warm water. You're going to ask your question. You're going to leave your cell phone or some recording device, whatever, right next to your bed. So when you get up around, oh, four in the morning to go pee, you're going to be able to go, you know, to the bathroom and go back to bed, go back to sleep. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. I just tried to do what I'm told, sister. You know. Um. So... When you are sleeping, eventually it's going to get to the point to where you can hear yourself talk to yourself or others, okay? You're going to know it's others because they don't say the same words you do. There you go. So stop thinking, is that really me? Is that really me? Is that really me? Yeah, it's really you. And it's not you. Answering back, okay? So that's your homework. I want to report two days. Not before, not after. If you give it to me after, don't come back. Practice, 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 practice. Be builds patience, patience, patience. Stop shooting on yourself. All of you. This is for everybody, not just not just him. 
Stop shooting on yourself. Stop comparing yourself. You're not me. You're not a beautiful, gorgeous, fat black chick. I mean, come on. That's my job. <laughs> okay, sweetheart, let me know how it goes. I love you, and thank you for asking yet another wonderful, brilliant question. You know what? I should do a YouTube video about that question. Yes, I should. Yes, I will. Thank you very much, honey. I love you. Okay, who's this? Melanated? First number I saw was three. It's a large three, so that's years. <clears throat> In your case, they are now taking the time. Excuse me. Grandma, what are you doing? Go be with Janice. Stop jumping on the bed. Who is that? Girl, she done brought company up in here. You don't bring company up in my room? You didn't ask me for permission? No. Get off the bed. Go on over to Janice's house. I don't want to hear all that noise. Go on. Granny, walk through the wall. Come on now. You remember? Just like in the movie. Just think where you want to be and you're there. Okay? Jumping on the bed. Girl. Janice, you, you better talk to her. Mm-hmm. Three, big three. That's three years. However, in your case, spirit is now taking back a half a year. So that's two winters. I see snow. I see flowers. I see snow. I see flowers. That is two years. And then the flower is... What do you call it? A bud. So that's May 17, 18, 19. May of 19. Because you have a lot of homework to do, sister girl. It would appear... That scab from whatever is just not off. I mean, it's dangling, but it's not off. I'm, I, I, I have to just tell you. I'm sorry. I know nobody wants to hear that. There's something you still have to let go of. And though I can kind of sort of see it. Hang on. Yeah, just forgive my spelling and shit, you know. I got a lot of energy going through this voluptuous body of mine. Are you there? Yeah, let me do type back. Okay, I'll move on. I'll move on. I gotta move on. There's already twenty people lined up. Um because you 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 beat yourself up over this one particular situation and i don't know how else to say it so um um okay so we're just we're just gonna do that over here over there go over there okay so we're gonna do that and then we're, we're gonna let that go and once you once you just agree and don't go <sighs> to see that <sighs> that adds on time to your sentence it really does it really, really does. I'm not saying that to be a bitch. I'm not saying that to be funny. But when we... What you resist persists. So if you want to keep being... I'm not just you directly, uh, Melanie. Everybody. When you go, ah, oh, so long. That just makes the sentence longer. Longer, okay? Um... I'm going to, 
So the more you embrace it, the faster it's going to come. The more you embrace letting that thing go, letting those people go. You know, there's two people you need to get rid of because they just don't mean 1,000% good to you. Not that they're stabbing you in the back, but I don't need to stab you in the back to not wish you well, you know. So there's two people you could get rid of or either put them so far on the back burner you don't even remember their names in a couple of months. Okay, my dear, I love you, I love you, I love you. And um, Vanessa? Oh, you changed your picture. <laughs> I'm like, is that... Is that the right Vanessa? That is the right Vanessa. I keep people change pictures and I I lose track of who they are. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Uh, Lisa, ask a different question. Put the use different words for that question. Vanessa Jackson, are you here? <clears throat> I wish the thing swipe left, but it does not swipe and left. Damn, I can swipe right, but not left. Okay, damn. Okay. <clears throat> Jackson, you were too funny. So I'm just going to tell you what I see. And you can decipher it yourself. So you ask me about the first person, or you ask me about the second person. And so as soon as I read the second person, I saw... I saw you holding your nose, trying to drink water, and then the water come, shoots out the side of your neck in holes. <laughs> they, they'll come, that second one will come back just as soon as you're happy and settled with the first one. We all have free will. You can leave if you want. You can stay if you want. The first one is a higher vibration for you. I'll put it that way. And that higher vibration in the long run, it's like this. Mommy, 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 I want candy. I want candy. I want french fries. I want Snickers. I want this. I want... And then you end up to be a fat little kid. But you had a good time eating all those goodies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and the first one <laughs> is going to be a little bit more uh, con constructive. No. He, he's he's going to be like, honey, can we, let's have this instead of that. You know, he, I won't, I'm not controlling. He's going to be, it's like corrected criticism. I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. Sorry. I, the, the higher vibration of the two would, would be the first person you mentioned. Okay. And, um, yeah. So again, you know, what you resist persists. It's your choice to be happy in all situations or choose to only be happy in one. It's challenging, yet it's still your choice. Thank you, my dear. I love you. Okay, I'm still waiting. Uh, Lisa, hello. Where are you? Are you here? Okay, Lisa. Yes. There you go. Um, Abby, you said. 
Girl, that's a lot of reading. Hello. Um. Okay, see, you, girl, you got me twisted. Hang on. We are talking about somebody in spirit, right, Abby? Type in the PM, not here. It takes too long. Yeah. You know, we always want others to be how we think they should be. We can't do that. You could, but you could you see the frustration it it gets us all as human beings being human. Right, like, just do what I want you to do, Tosh. That's like the doctor telling me just be 130 pounds and your blood pressure will be fine and everything will be good. Not this lifetime. Ain't happening, boo. They have the right to do and be and feel however they want. Why can't you just accept that? Why can't all of us accept that from others who don't want to face what we consider the facts to be? He's there, yes. He's with your husband. All the time, they looks like they play baseball together, something with a little ball. It is not going to make your life better trying to get people to change. Ever. Love yourself. Let them have their peace. They can do and be and feel whatever they want. That's okay. He's still going to be there. Loving you, supporting you. Tapping you on the shoulder, say turn left and don't go right. The traffic is jammed up over there or whatever. That's okay. That's, that's the important thing. He is giving your, he's giving uh, the husband messages. He dreams about him all the time. He may not remember his dream, but he is. Okay? And in this case, I can't take your husband's opinion about it. I have to take his opinion because he don't got no skin and he can see more than you. Okay? So, yes, he's there, yes, and how oh, sweet. I hope you have a good trip. Oh, okay, okay, I'm right, okay. Yeah, he's there all the time. Well, outside, you know, spirits are just like us. They have to go to school, they have a job, they have things to do. Just like us, you have things to do. Mind your own business, leave all them other idiots alone, it's okay loving through it because you resisting just beating a dead horse sorry yeah I want everybody to be happy and be one and continue to have family reunions after grandma dies and that's just usually never the case so you be happy with and for yourself and let them be because look at it this way I don't think they're sitting around talking to him gaining wisdom I'd rather be you. I'd rather be your husband. At least he's got, you know, a cheerleader on his side that can say, hey, don't, don't do that. Let's do this over here. You know, or give a, give a little nudge, you know. That is what's the most important. Pay attention, paying attention to that nudge. However, let me move from this to that now. And I hope you save this, unless you're really good at, at writing shit down or remembering 
and by the way, for all everybody here tonight, all I don't know, twenty some of you. I'm not gonna remember this tomorrow, so don't say you remember yesterday. No, no, no. I don't. I don't work like that. I'm already fat enough as it is. I can't carry around everybody's thousands of readings that I do every year. You know. Um, there's an Elizabeth here, and this is very interesting because generally this comes, this vision that I see comes to the people that are they're not using their gifts, and you're supposed to be. Yeah, so let's not have this conversation again. I love you, but I have to be stern with you right now. Don't let her make you sit down. Spirit will knock you on your ass, and you guys will be like, oh, it's just a cold. No. Don't make me block your ass. That's rude. You see I'm sitting here doing readings tonight, and you want to fucking call me? Really? Okay, Elizabeth, go ahead. So, the vision that I see is usually always here because. Hang on, you guys. Let me just block this idiot. get blocked don't buy the typing an excuse I don't want your fucking excuse that's rude <sighs> sorry Elizabeth come on there so Elizabeth is now bringing Abby two other ladies this usually comes from those families that, uh, I don't want to say it like that because I don't want to categorize anything. So, you know, this is just, this is just for you right now. Okay. Uh, the stereotypical, what is that? I need to study that more. Is that really, is that? Is it kind of like, okay, okay, she said I'm right. So it's kind of like the flamenco dancers of about, really? I was going to say 1920. She said 1919. Um, with the little, the comb that comes out this way to keep their long hair all twisted up. And then the veil looking thing. Kind of like a dancing morticia, <laughs> except with a beautiful lace fancy dress all the way past her shoes her cute little flamenco shoes is just absolutely beautiful and I anyway I normally see this when you're not doing you're using your gift as you're supposed to and you know about it so I know you know now excuse me and if you continue not using it she will kick you on your ass so mind your own business stay out of other people's business Learn to use your gifts and use them because these other two sisters are her backup system. Yes, it will not be pretty. I'm not saying you won't get a disease or anything. I am saying you would want to just do what you're told. <laughs> Girl, she's going to be turning on lights and moving things if you don't. Okay, so we have an Elizabeth. I'm sorry, I need some air. 
we have Elizabeth and um, two others. Now, the two others aren't really speaking. The two outside ones usually don't. It's that middle one that has the heat and the fire, and then the other two, like, keep that one calm. Okay. So... She's really getting on you about that question that you asked. Uh, apparently, of course, you know, it all stems from something he said, she said, they said. And she, she does not want you getting all, all mixed up into that mess. You know about it, they know about it, a little bit of everybody else knows about it, and you have an idea, they have an idea, it's all hogwash. You can't believe any of it because none of it's true. The truth got washed down the toilet a hundred years ago and another a mistruth passed and a mistruth and a mistruth and so now it's everything is a lie. Um, stemming on one person's uh, dowry. Dowry was used what back in the 1800s or something. So somebody's um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, inheritance, inheritance. Okay, so something's funny. Oh me. It, she, she doesn't want you to believe all that crap. She wants you to use your gifts, do your gifts, focus on your gifts, 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 gifts. gifts. Leave all that other static bullshit over there in their house. Those other people that you were talking about. Okay? Don't make her have to come here to remind you through me. It will not be pretty. Okay? So, she's dancing and doing her little flamingo things. And the da 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 And the... Oh my god, what a beautiful red dress. And of course, you know, the dress is like, it's got that huge bell that's like two feet past her feet. You know what I mean. And boy, she is, she made me zoom in on her feet. And for her to be so little, she's just as powerful as a bull. So you must have asked another question, and that's your answer. It feels like you had, should I ask this or should I ask this? So I don't know what the other question was, but I have a feeling that's your answer. The strong is a bull thing. Decipher it. You can do it. You're big girl. She really feels like one of them old witchy witches that like you see in the movies, you know, with the dark cave and the candles. <coughs> that's how I know <coughs> that you know what your gifts are and you're not using them. They always show me that when people don't use the gifts that they know that they have. Get on it. Leave all that other bullshit alone, sister girl. Because I'm telling you this about that. I have seen it all my life. I have, I have done it myself. When I didn't do what Spirit told me to do, well, you know that. No, she's that's your um great 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 granny. Oh, sorry. She said the Sorry. Hey, she could be whatever she wants. She's got the power in this case. Okay. Um So yeah, you you yeah, get on it. Just just do it. Just do it. I'm telling you. I have seen people come back to me crying. What is, what, blah, 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 blah. I went to my granny crying when my throat swelled up like a bullfrog and I couldn't talk, breathe, eat, nothing. It's, it's not pretty and I don't want you to go through that on top of everything you're going through. I don't know what you're going through, but I see a whole bunch of static. Okay? And... I can promise you this about that. I promise you right now, today, if you and and that person you mentioned in your question were just to sit down and say, okay, we're just going to do this. You just get a, a blank sheet of paper and say, okay, look, Thea, 
we're going to start doing this, 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 and this, and this. What do you want us to do? And I promise you, he's going to dream and you're going to dream. And you start writing all that stuff down. Don't ask any other questions other than what do you want me to do today? Your gut will always tell you. All of you guys watching, your gut will always tell you exactly what you need to be doing right now today, whether you want to believe it or not. But let me tell you this about that. The sooner you believe it, the sooner your gifts are going to come, the money will flow, the people will flow. You're going to you're, It's going to be like this. Gee, I wish I had a Snickers. Hey, so-and-so, I stopped at the store. He gave me two. Do you want one? Serious. Serious. And I want you to have a good life, so just do it please okay i love you baby um tammy 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 no uh no because a lot of it okay wait hang on there's, um, Tammy, are you here, Tammy? <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> yeah, Spirit, Spirit's got some really good advice. You know, we humans just ought not to listen because we have skin and it's challenging wanting what we want versus doing what we should do. And I say should right now, Pamela, because I don't like shouldn't on people. I don't think it's very polite. However, however when Spirit talks, I got to say it. I can't sugarcoat shit, okay? And this, and the same has to go for me too. Because if it didn't go for me, I wouldn't be sitting here listening, being a, a telephone, okay? They would shut my shit down if I didn't do what I was supposed to do, or if I'm sitting here, oh man, you know, Pam, she got that good job. I wanted that job, and they'd be like, go sit on the toilet and give me the runs. <laughs> Yeah, it's happened, okay? So I would rather just do what I'm told to do and not doubt it. Because I've tried other things. They didn't work, you know? Um, YouTube, I mean, um, Facebook, fix my lighting. Damn it. Tammy. Okay, let me tell you this about that. I, I, it is not my greatest joy to give you a message and then have to type it out. So, uh, no, they're not going to find out every single thing because more, most of the stuff that is wrong is spiritual. Okay? Uh, this is why before I used to make a lot of videos about it. I've grown up and matured a little teeny bit. Sometimes. <laughs> and remind people, you know, if... If you, I mean, I vented about my shit yesterday because that doctor really was just frustrating to me. And I probably will never, ever, ever bring it up again because it's over. So when we continue, where what your mind focuses on grows. You talk about illness and, and lack and death and all this other not really good stuff. That's exactly what you're going to keep getting and getting and getting and getting and getting. You know, um, I don't know if you bothered to look up the Louise Hay book of <clears throat> Heal Your, uh, the Louise Hay book, Heal Your Body. And Dr. Christian Northrup, uh, Dr. Carolyn Mace. Now, I'm not telling people not to go to the doctor. I'm not stupid. But I, what I am saying is you could work with the, your doctor and your spirit everything has to stay in balance and when something is out of balance it becomes a dis-ease so it's up to you to figure out what's out of balance and stop it so sure i'm going to take all them dang bottles of pills of medicines in addition to my herbs and tinctures and salves and all my other natural stuff i'm not just going to depend on a, a western doctor to tell me everything what to do i depend on spirit to tell me what to do 
Sure, the doctor said I should be dead, am I? I don't think so. I was in a, in a coma for three days. Did I, did I choose to take 10 shots of insulin, 25 units every single day the rest of my life? Hell no. As soon as I had an inkling of, of clarity, I said I have to get out of this. And in nine months, I was. I'm not saying that to say, oh, look at me. I'm saying that because you have to figure out. You have to do your homework. I mean, you didn't come here just to have diseases all your life and, and then die in pain and only have, you know, five years of happy memories or whatever of being human. That's not your purpose for being, honey. Your purpose for being I, is to do your tarot cards, your ruins, and to teach children how to get through the process of having had. That means it's no longer there. Disease and put that dis-ease back into clear function. Because if you leave it up to the Western doctors, they're going to keep making money off of you because now to them, what I see is a leech. And I know that's not a very nice thing to say, but that's what I see. I can't lie to you. You know? So you have to sit down and figure out a stopping point to accepting what they say you have. I did not say do not go to the doctor. You have to learn the other part of fixing you and letting it go or just accept it and not talk about it ever. Again, ever. Ever. Okay? And just like I, I didn't talk about it when I was in it, and now I talk about it a lot because a lot of people still think they know what's best. They know, what well, you know, Tasha, you have to do this to get your blood pressure down. You have to do that. You have to do this. You have to do that. And especially talking to a person that was severely diabetic and my brain was only hearing wah, 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 wah. When thousands of people are trying to tell me what to do, what to eat, what not to eat, what to, you know. All that and a lot of Western medicine, their philosophy of what is or isn't wrong with you is their opinion. They never met no Tasha Lene Harris before. How the hell they know me? They don't. They think according to their books, I should, at 56 years old, weigh 130 pounds and my blood pressure will be normal and I won't be diabetic. They're entitled to their opinion and they can keep it to themselves. Now again, I'm not telling you not to go to the doctor. I'm not telling anyone not to take their medicine. What I'm saying is at some point you would want to consider balance. And the first thing about being in balance is no longer speaking on the negative thing again to your doctor, to your mate, that's it. That's it, because when you, when, you, when you call the devil, it shows up, right? I don't believe in the devil, but you know what I mean. You're a witch, I know you don't really believe in the devil either, <laughs> but you know what I mean. When you call on diabetes, doesn't it show up? When you call on this, doesn't it show up? Where the mind goes, the behind follows. So the balance between herbs and drugs has to meet at some point you know, to uh, level out. Um, I love you, Tammy. Thank you. And we can talk more about that off camera. Um, Maureen. Okay, Maureen, well, when you watch this video, uh, soon, what is, what is soon to you? The next year? No. Snow time. Snow, snow, snow is, uh, snow is, uh, December. Next December. 
um, what's before December, November, October, next October, next October. Oh, what a cute little house. It kind of looks like, um, dang it, what was that movie? It had a big, huge, almost wraparound porch. I mean, the porch is like 10 feet wide with a low little thing all the way around it so you can like sit out there comfortably. And, oh wow, it's beautiful. The, um, it's a, it looks like an old house because the color of the green is like this. The color of the green is like that. On the porch. And then, oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. And then the little, um, thing around the porch is low. That's like a beige, a really super light beige eggshell. Eggshell. Bam. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I try. Um, so yeah, not till October. Not till October. Okay. And it's going to be better than you ever anticipated. Okay, honey. I love you. Hang on, y'all. Thank you. Okay. Apology accepted. Yeah, enough said. Leanne? Leanne, Leanne, Leanne. When I think of you, I think of the Ghost and Mrs. Muir. See if you can find that on YouTube. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. The original version from 1920-something. And the newer version that was... I don't know. Is anybody as old as me in here? <laughs> Uh, 1976, 78 or so, the series came on national television. Okay, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, I don't know why, but as soon as I saw your question, that's the first thing that popped into my head. <laughs> so, en enjoy that, and what you're, I know you're going to enjoy it. You're, you're, just, you're just going to love it. Okay, Patricia. Thank you. Enough said. Got it. Okay. Cool beans. Okay. Hang on just one second, honey. We're going to do some... Lee, they told me to pick a card, so hang on. Hang on, hang on. Making me dizzy, my head is spinning. Who sings that song? Okay, Lee. Aww. <laughs> Look what you get. Oh, sorry, it's backwards. <laughs> well, there's Lakshmi. <laughs> and Lakshmi says, Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> Oh my goodness, how wonderful. Oh, I gotta tell you. <laughs> okay, Lee, so first we get Lakshmi, and now we're gonna get... Ooh. 
Nematona, sacred space. Is that beautiful? Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Mm-hmm. Oh, and your third card. Oh, my God. I, lo I just love this deck. Okay, S-I-G-E. Quiet time. Take some quiet time to be alone, to rest, to meditate, and contemplate. Okay, so having, having them, having, after they said that, <laughs> well, you know, I got to give back. I always got to give back. That's my purpose for being one of many. Okay, Lee, so I want to tell you, first of all, that there is still another party. They're always having a party for you. So I hope that you are able to tomorrow have a party for yourself, though where you are, it's probably already tomorrow, huh? Yes, it is. It's probably tomorrow. Yeah, morning. Okay. Um, they are happy with the progress that you made today. And for some other, whatever reason, it's just a little party. This time it's just a little party. Before, you always have huge parties along the beach, along the shore, that are like football stadium size. This party is just like, you know, a little 50 by 30 backyard party. <coughs> Still party. It's still a celebration. There's still success. Okay, they want you to stop thinking that because this grand thing didn't happen that it's not grand. And it is. Okay, because we both know that thoughts are things. So thinking it makes the deed done. You already thought that that situation was going to be something altogether other. And then you swayed back this way. And then after today, then you sway back that way. See, the ability to always bounce back is the important thing. Not how fast, not how long, not how this... You chose to do it. That is your lesson. To choose to do it. And you have to choose when to do it faster or slower or higher or lower or this or that. But just choose. Just choose. They're so, so happy. Oh, God, now they're bringing the pig out the ground with the witch jigger leaves all over it. It smells so good. <gasps> oh. Even as a kid, that was the best thing that I loved about going to Hawaii. Watching them bring that pig out the ground, and oh, my God, I just wanted to go back and keep eating it. Not no poi, though. And eating it and eating it and eating it. And I know you're not in Hawaii. I know exactly where you are, but you know what I mean. Hi, sister. I love you. And... They're, they're really happy for your progress, honey. They are so proud of you. Um, okay, let me make sure that was your question. <clears throat> as soon as you speak on it, it could be made manifest. If you do not speak on it, it sits in the closet with the skeletons. Now, you can see the question mark in my head. I'm already asking, who's that? I want to talk to that person. That spirit, step up. <laughs> Come to the <laughs> head of the line. I want to talk to you. Yeah, I saw the notice. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, I like that one. Oh, you know who that is? That's your teacher. That's your, uh, your, your master teacher. Wow, he's wonderful. I like him. I like him a lot. He speaks loud and clear and fast. That's what I'm used to. In case you guys watching haven't noticed that yet. Uh, okay. So, they are happy with the situation because you you decided to decide. 
it doesn't mean that it's going to be right or wrong or this or that or blue or polka dot or but that's not what is important all the time see what happens after today isn't necessarily the lesson that you were meant to learn the lesson you were meant to learn was just to speak up for yourself that's it you see but we humans think we have to and this is for all y'all not just lee she hears me lee knows when i'm talking to everybody versus when i'm just talking to her we've been together for a few lifetimes and uh the important thing everybody is to decide stop sitting on the pot and just decide to decide that is often more than 50 percent the lesson in all the shit you just took yourself through well, it's Tasha's fault. I don't. I didn't get that raise, and then and then I didn't wear the purple dress that she liked last Monday, and now she mad. At, all that ain't got shit to do with nothing. All you had to do was decide one thing, and you opted not to. And your life is hell, and you're blaming everybody else for it. Not Lee. I'm talking to you guys now. You know. Okay, back to Lee. Uh, they're so proud of your choice, and I can see that person that we were talking about, and the heart. It's like, um, damn, I was trying to think of that movie because, you know, they relate everything to movies. Um, it's like a heart with, with wings on it. The Harry Potter thing, the little ball, and it's got wings, except it's a heart with wings. And his little heart is just fluttering, and he's all, you know, in a tizzy. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to say. And, you know, what I was going to tell you to uh, invest in is um and then that way you guys could you know do your everything easier you know but it looks good it looks good and the other situation from about 10 o'clock this morning you got a big gold star on your door. A huge gold star, okay? So, you, you're at the right place at the right time. You, we cannot sit, you cannot sit here and think about, oh, well, you know, I know Tasha doesn't like oranges. She only likes apples. And, and I gave her a jicama, and she's not, you know, no, no, no. You fed me. It's up to me to eat the damn thing or throw it away. Don't sit here worrying about me, boo-boo. It's, 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 it's all gravy. And that if you don't choose to look at it that way, then it's going to be however you choose to look at it. I'm telling you, there's a huge 14-karat gold star on your door right now. Yes. They are so proud of you for just speaking. Just speak. See, that's 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 my issue. Sometimes I need to learn to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I don't. Cause I'd rather be heard than not. Cause I could always I could always go back and say, you know, Mia, you know, I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop. You know I had the best of intention and then her being the person she is, she gonna be like, girl, stop tripping. What's wrong with you? You got me twisted, girl. You got all fucked up. Get the go get a peanut butter sandwich to sit down, Tasha. You know, and we have to just speak on it and let it be. Coming from with and from true intent, it doesn't even really matter how, how Mia decides to take it. I had good intentions when I put it out. There. You know, Mia, there's a booger coming out your nose, girl, and you did that video. And I just thought I would tell you about it because, you know, so even if even if she come at me, sorry, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Get the fuck up out of my business. You know, I did what I thought was the right thing. And if you don't think so, that's okay. I'm going to love you right through it. <laughs> you know. And that's all we can do. Okay, honey, let me move on. I love you, and I'll talk to you first thing in the morning. Hang on.
There you go, Patricia. Uh, Mimi. Where's Mimi? Mimi, Mimi. Oh, Mimi. Oh, little pink Mimi. You know, Mimi, I gotta tell you, every time I see your damn name, I think it's just pink butterflies. <laughs> or fairies. <laughs> ah, how funny. I know, I see some crazy shit. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I wish you guys could see the things I see in my head because they're funny as hell. <laughs> ah, me, 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 my lovely little Mimi. You're just so precious. Um, the same way you do all your other homework, one day at a time. Yeah, I, I, I got what you meant. Um, the only way... Okay, I'll put it to you this way. You know, when we're a kid, we have these dreams. And sometimes, well, back in the day, like my mama's day, 87 years ago, 86 years ago, you they would say, oh, you ate, you ate candy before bed, so you're going to have nightmares. Well, obviously that's not really true, you know. Um, in any case, we still have dreams we don't like. We name them nightmares. In the nightmare, there's this big, huge, you're this little tiny, <laughs> um, damn it, I forgot what that name of the little tiny baby doll is. Anyway, you're like this big, and the monster's like this big, okay, and it's chasing you, and it's going to get you, da 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 and you're running, running, running. Oh my God, it's going to eat, it's going to eat me, it's going to eat me, it's going to eat me. Uh, instead of chasing your own tail and wondering and saying, I'm not doing it right. I'm not doing it this way. I'm not doing it. Would Tasha do it this way? Would this one do this way? You know, would, would Betty Boop do it this way? Would so-and-so do it? Just be still and say, okay, spirit, how am I supposed to do it? And you turn and you face the monster and poof. It disappears right so having said all that I want you to tell me how your two minutes is going not right now you can do it whenever I'm not saying you know stop your next breath and type your answer so in addition to your two minutes two minutes two times a day minimum now you have the joy of going out each and every day and do something uncomfortable you know what we're gonna do oh wait a minute you, uh, wait let me remember exactly your situation okay we won't what okay we'll work on this other thing that I'm gonna tell you about and then this you can do is do something uncomfortable every single day okay so let me tell you this real, as quickly as I can, and then and then move on. What? In um. In 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 all of those cases, in all those cases, because let's face it, you know, I talk to a thousand different entities. All the time, all the time. I don't know what they are. Because you shall know them by their fruit, and in spirit you shall know them by their vibration. Even though that a title, a thing doesn't matter. See, that's why to me, uh, the Orisha, the witches, the saints, the cherubs, the fairies, the gnomes, the leaf people. I saw a face. The, all those little, they're just titles. They ain't got nobody. They're all disembodied spiritual entities. I can differentiate them by the level of their vibration to know what they are. So, example, uh, you could go now, 
and say, I want to talk to a da -da 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 fairy in regards to this little fairy house I'm building and I'm going to put it up there in the corner for you guys to play with. And then you're going to go to bed because that's usually the easiest way right now for you to get your answer and you're going to dream your answer. That's your first form of communication, okay? Then the answer to your question is they will often say things that you don't like back and you're going to get scared. Get scared a lot. Adjust. I can't, I can't tell you in a nice way. Adjust. I mean, come on. I didn't want to go over to fucking dumbass pal talk and, and talk to those wonderful people 10 hours a day every Sunday so I could build my energy and my strength and my stamina to not get tired and thus I do readings three or four hours do I charge people for a four hour reading no I only charge you for a two hour reading and I don't think $125 is a lot of money to ask for for expending all that energy you know Face your fear. What do you What do you think is going to happen? Go do that so you can face it over and over and over. And I'm, I guarantee you, I promise you, I would if. Okay, don't say that. <laughs> I am willing to bet you a lifetime of free readings. I can do that. If you do that for the next seven, they said seven and a half days. You will not fear anything. Now, what's going to face you? All those things you're afraid of. Whatever we... Write this down. Everybody get your pencil and paper out. Whatever you declare yourself to be, everything unlike it will show up. What does that mean? Let me tell you a quick lesson I just learned. I fought for... Uh, to three, four little girls because they felt that they were wronged. The person that wronged them wanted to kill me. I've, I've dealt with demons. That was not an issue for me. Now, why, why would I use that? Why would I do that? Because that's my job. That's what I'm here to do. I'm a human telephone. That is my job. And if I wasn't big enough to handle it, then I should have backed my big ass out the door a long time ago. But I didn't, and I can't. That is my purpose for being. To face idiots' fears every day. And that's not an old look at me thing. Sometimes it's a stupid thing, because my mouth gets my ass in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and, then I <laughs> and then I tell myself, why did you do that again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's my job. Okay. And the thing about that is it always passes. It always passes. If you're big enough to wish for it, you're big enough to overcome it. And I'd rather help four, five, ten little girls be less afraid of that monster than still have the monster eat them up. I could face that monster. Honey, I've gotten demons out of, out of portals, out of you know, people's houses. I'm not afraid of a man. Face the fear and it goes away. So, um, today's Friday, so you write to me. No, I don't do nothing on Sunday. Don't write on Sunday. <clears throat> so you can write on Monday. <laughs> we'll start on Monday. You know, chipping it one thing at a time, one thing at a time, one thing at a time, you know, and just work with it. Because anything is work out a bowl. As long as you choose to. See? Now you know it could happen. Just like you say, Tasha, can I borrow five dollars? And you say, oh, I would never ask Tasha for five dollars. She, she'd probably say no. Ooh. What if I suggest? You, you don't know because you weren't willing to take a chance. Okay? So, we're going to work on facing all those fears. Make a list. We'll get started on it on Monday. Okay? Because think of it this way, 
This is this is the other way you think of it. Okay, I showed you one way. I showed you the back end. Let's show. Let me show you from the front end. Okay. You said, okay, God, this is what I'm going to do this lifetime. Before you had clothes, uh, clothes, not clothes. Before you had clothes, when you were just in the spirit. You said, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this. Okay, so now you got clothes, and you said, oh, did I do that? Did I, why would I say that? I don't want to say that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go in that haunted house. That's scary. You already agreed. That's what your purpose for being is. Go in the damn haunted house and trust that spirit will protect you. Do you think God isn't God for a reason, or goddess, or whatever you believe in? Trust the spiritual system. They don't got no clothes. It will always work. You know, leap and the net will appear. The net is always there. There's no, there's, you don't question it. You just do. You know, Tr trust you me. A lot of people think I'm crazy. I don't give a fuck. They don't pay my rent. They don't even pay for readings. I still answer the question because that's my purpose for being, you know. You're going to be just fine. You're, you're going to be right as rain. We're going to work on that starting Monday, okay? And speaking of, well, we'll, uh, yeah, never mind, I'll put it over here. Um, <laughs> yeah, think about that. Okay, because the only way to face your fear is to do it and get over it. I didn't, I didn't want to sit here and give readings for hours and hours and hours on end. But I did it. I needed to I needed to build that longevity. I needed to be able to give readings ten hours a day. Going to psychic fairs, <clears throat> doing group. I go to um your house and give you and your ten friends readings. I mean that takes like eight hours sometimes. You have to be able to build your strength. The only way to build your strength or do anything is to learn to be still. Because in being still, you can hear the silence and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can hear the voices in the light and the dark. <clears throat> okay? Monday. I love you. Vanessa, I don't see a question here. Okay, um, Patricia. Um... Well, I don't know who this is, Patricia. There's a man here. He appears to be about six foot... Oh, I, I was going to say six foot two. He said six foot one. He's got... What do you call it? Wash, dishwasher brown. Dishwater brown hair. He looks... He was pale at first, and now he's looking colorful. He, he's got some color uh, in his cheeks, you know. And he still looks kind of like, am I here or am I there? Okay, so now I don't have time for that. I just, that's not my thing right now, ever, really. So I tell somebody else, hello, come speak, hello. You know, I'm getting hungry. You don't want to see me when I get hungry. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. <clears throat> So, this, in, this other spirit that come, come steps in with this gentleman, his first answer is, that's not the important thing. His second answer is, if you have to know, it was an accident. Now... In saying the word accident, I don't believe in accidents. I believe everything happens according to the lessons that I, I need to learn. So I can't be a hypocrite for him either and say things are different for him than they are for me. I mean, you know, there's a man there. He is a spirit. And then there's another man on his right that's an even larger spirit. So I am asking...
and he isn't saying much so by him not saying much I am going to say you have either already gotten this answer or you don't need to know <clears throat> because I tell my guides I don't want to repeat what somebody else said okay I could be using that energy for something else the bigger question is there's somebody else here to tell you that the first person said don't be afraid so I don't know if you had another question ping-ponging around in your head or not the other person so so there's four people here now just to keep tally there's four people here <clears throat> and the other one they're all men by the way I don't know what's up with you and men but they're all men <laughs> um, he says remember with the skin a lot of mistruths turn into skeletons write that down I have no clue so now <clears throat> I'm backing up there's my TV there that's how I see things sometimes <clears throat> either the TV or the chalkboard right now you get the TV you know the old-fashioned TV on four legs you had to get up change channel one of those so right now I can see the picture behind the static okay so there's a you gotta flip it you know I, I think you gotta flip it around uh, so if I'm you <clears throat> the woman is on my right and the man is on the left and he's like fussing down at her So you, you, you have to put the puzzle pieces together. I'm just telling you what they're showing you, okay? Okay, so now the picture is adjusting. It's still snowy. <clears throat> He's still fussing at her, and fussing and fussing and fussing and fussing. I don't know if, if you have a whole line of family that just likes fussing at each other, but he is fussing at her, and he's really in her face. Like, he's he's so livid he's just like spitting on her talking okay <clears throat> so I, I don't know what that means write it down and think about it later do you have a son <clears throat> Do you have a son? There's a man here. It feels like a uh, son's vibration. He he looks old, but I want I don't I don't think he's as old as he is appearing in my head. Which tells me you might have had a miscarriage, and you had a miscarriage a long, 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 long time ago. So that's why he looks grown but he crossed over as an infant or at least, you know, something like one year old something. Okay, so he's there, he's always there looking out for you and It's uh, different. Um, so you gotta go read your instant message over there. Um,
anyway, <clears throat> he doesn't want you to be and feel sad as much as you are. And according to him, you're sad a lot. <clears throat> When you know better, you do better. You know, when you know better, you do better. So, you have to find some peace, honey. And I'm not saying that to be mean. It feels bad. It feels bad. I don't want you to waste one thirty seconds of your life sad, bad feeling anything like that. I want you to be happy. He wants you to be happy. <clears throat> you garden? He wants you to garden. Or some gardening spirit is here with you, one or the other. In any case, go outside, garden, dig in the mud, ground, ground yourself, and know that that's, that's just not your purpose for being here, to just be miserable, honey. Okay? Don't. You find something that makes you happy and do it every single day more and more and more even if those around you there's somebody around you that just feels like a black cloud and I'm not telling you to leave I am telling you to find some happiness in something and do it a lot okay he doesn't want you sitting there in the dungeon Oof. Lord take this feeling from me I don't need it I just want to have diarrhea and cry all at the same time. Wow. I'm sorry. It just, it's just so much turmoil. I mean, it feels like 10 people died back to back to back to back to back to back to back. To back and now you just are in a daze, in a fog. Turn the light on. Let's go outside. Get some sunshine. Mm. Bless your soul. Bless your soul, honey. Well, you know, I know it sucks. So I will just hope that you choose different. Because it's ultimately still your choice. <clears throat> you know? It's so funny. It's, it's like, it's funny because in my head I'm seeing these cartoon wolves and you're walking over a net to get from one island to the other island and you're walking on a net uh, what do you call it thing bridge and it's like these wolves and sharks are chomping at your feet you gotta find some happiness perhaps some therapy new friends <clears throat> that redhead and go on the back burner. Mm, bless your heart. Bless your heart. Oh, there's that neighbor. She likes you. She's cool. Whoever the neighbors, she likes baking. It smells. It smells like she's got like 25 cakes in the oven, <clears throat> cakes, pies, whatever, something. But I really hope that you find something to make you not feel like this. It feels like I ate dog shit sand needles and 
scouring pads. Ugh. I don't want you to feel like that. I don't want you to feel like that. You're beautiful. You there's a there is a beautiful life there for you. There is, honey. J believe me, I can see it. You're like um, what's your name? The hills are alive with the sound of music. You remember that scene? <sighs> that is what's there for you. I I can't see anything other than you that's blocking that. I'm sorry, no offense. I'm not trying to be a rude bitch or nothing. Ugh, it's just... I want to throw up. And I want you to be happy. <clears throat> I want you to be happy. <clears throat> you know? Well, sometime out of that day, you know, the care provider needs a care provider. And I know that's hard because you love them. And yet you still need to love yourself too, sweetheart, you know? You need to love yourself too at some point. You have to go out and breathe some fresh air. To have a, have you know, have a, uh, go out dancing, go to a theater, do something that makes your heart sing. It's there. You can't just wait for everybody else to die for it to be your turn. You have to take your turn. You know? I look at it I look at it this way. What's going to happen? I I I'm asking. That's why I'm talking kind of slow. I'm uh I'm asking so I could be sure. You know, <clears throat> And then the worm is here. You have legal issues too? Pam. <laughs> Pam is becoming my biggest supporter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Patricia. Um. <clears throat> what if that is not your purpose for being at all. And I say it like that because I used to think it was my purpose for being to take care of my mother. And honey, you've got to know, if you, I know you don't know me, but I will tell you this about me. If I give a shit about anybody, it's my mama. That's my, that's my road dog. That's my... My, my honey, please, you can't say nothing bad about my mama. I will slap you before quick got ready, okay? And yet, even I, her biggest cheerleader, had to remind myself to live Tasha's life, not hers. You know, so I think a little bit I can empathize. And yet all that is for naught. If you choose not to be good to yourself, you deserve a life. You deserve happiness. You deserve the bliss. You deserve that fucking mountain singing and twirling your dress, girl. Okay? Yeah, you do. I want you to be happy. I want you to want to be happy. I hope that it's acceptable at some point. Yeah, I know. <sighs> okay, I gotta shake this off because I can't be holding on to that for days. <clears throat> So this is what I'm going to do about that. And after I say this, you're going to go and do whatever you feel is best for yourself. Okay? I... Okay.
Do you have legal issues right now? See, this is why I like for people to type in the instant message. Okay, so the worm is here, so you must have legal issues right now. So <clears throat> the worm is, um, Sophia, um, the, the worm from, uh, what's, your, what's his name, please? Yes, I put it on a post-it, and my um, post-it fell down behind the desk. <laughs> um, the worm from, um, you know, the chick who fell down the hole. Um, As much as I call on him, you think I would have that damned storybook memorized. Alice in Wonderland. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Sister, get out of my head. I saw you type that, but at the time I couldn't figure out how I knew that name. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the name of the worm in Alice in Wonderland. Thank you. Um, Patricia, sorry. Yeah, the joy of having dentures. Uh, so the worm comes in. He's the legal representative. Oh God, the three sisters have showed up. That means your health is not what you think it should be. 